On today's episode of Watch Jericho, we are here with my 2014 Jaguar F-Type S. It's a Jag, and it's home, and it's in my shop. Let's start checking this thing out. What is going on, guys? I am Watch Jericho, and like I said, we're here with my Jag F-Type that I bought from Switch Cars. And in the last video, of course, we brought that thing back from Ohio. And here it is. So today, we're gonna clean it up and we're gonna try to get some of this stuff working because obviously we weren't making much progress before with just a jump pack at Switch Cars. You can see in the background, I did lower the top already. Uh, so you guys are gonna see me lower it for the first time in this video because we did record it. So let's jump right in. First things first, we're gonna start cleaning this thing up because it's a little bit of a nightmare. So you guys get to witness firsthand how nasty the car was and I didn't know it until now. I didn't see mice. That, that was my fear, was mice. Yep. But, uh, you know, I mean, just the leaves up here, that's not, not terrible. You see any chewed up wires? I don't see anything over here. I mean, I don't, there's a lot of electrical tape on these ones, but. Factory. I don't. That's factory. That's factory. Yeah, I don't see, I don't see any chewed up wires, fortunately. So did you try and jump it? Uh, we had to just to make it uh, release the steering wheel. Oh. So yeah, we definitely had to jump it and it wouldn't start, but we left the battery hooked up so we could steer. Right. Can we put the V8 in no, it? No, you have to change the entire car's wire harness to put the V8 in it, oh. I would say. So. Oh. Holly. 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 No, no, L no LS. I'm not LS swapping <laughs> this one. I know it's been suggested a lot, but it's such a huge job. It's really hard to maintain all of the interior stuff. It's one thing if it's like an LS, a car that you can easily get an LS For into. Sure. Yeah. Especially one where the engine and all the other electrical systems can be easily separated out or right. work independently. I don't think that's this car. I just want to drive this car with a stock drivetrain, honestly. Okay. And it's an eight speed, dude. It's got a ZF8 in it. It's really got an eight speed. Oh yeah, this thing's cool for being old. What year is it? 14. Really? Yeah, so that's pretty early for a ZF8. Like one of the one of the I, earliest ones. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, it'll look a lot better soon. I'm gonna start vacuuming. <laughs> Trunk struts work and the release worked and the wiper fluids in the rear, which is weird. Look at all this chunk in here. You know, it came with so much. Do you need oh. those shoes? Oh, I bet all that leaked. Some beer and, and waters and and uh, actually, it doesn't look like anything leaked. Christopher, what? Christopher Palin. inheritance. Christopher Palin. It does smell a little bit back here. It does smell. It's got oh, unlimited golf balls. <laughs> all the golf balls. Oh, gross. Yup. Oh, that's nasty. Some, some shoes? What size? I'm just gonna throw those away. What are these? Why do those shoes look brand new? They do look brand new. Size eight. <laughs> You'll well, never they're... believe. Oh, oh those are bowling shoes. Yeah, right bowling there. shoes. Interesting. Of course they would be bowling uh, shoes. Uh, I'm just gonna have to pick this here up. What is it? Oh, Frito oh. Jalapeno Cheddar. That's nice. That's nice. yucky. I'm Gross. sure that's the smell. That is the smell. No guaranteed. doubt about it. Yeah, guaranteed. All right, I'm gonna throw this stuff out and an think, open bag of Cheetos. Oh, if we move all the junk that's underneath there, the top will probably open if we clean out the headlight restoration kit. <laughs> I just need to bring a trash can there's, over. There's some nice lights under there too. There's nice. Oh, look at that. It's time to throw everything away. We're not keeping any of this junk. I do, some of this seems like it's jumping. I think it's a little alive. Gross. Gross. This is how you get COVID. Post-COVID, it's not even real anymore. Gross. Okay, usually I, I might consider keeping that, but what else we got here? Ooh, it keeps lighting up. Wheel brush. What do you think? You guys want that in the detail? No. That's enough? Yeah. Okay, this seems important. Yeah, probably. Oh, all these seem important. All the vacuum lines, so that's kind of gross. That that was wet. Gross. 
Uh oh. Broken vacuum lines, that's not good. All of this is a little damp. <laughs> Battery terminal corrosion deals. Uh, even the golf balls are probably going in the trash and now I gotta go wash my hands. Ah, it's hard to throw those away. Even though I have a few thousand of them. I mean, sometimes you just gotta let things go. Fuse tap. Huh. In good condition too. It is in good condition. Maybe, maybe a keep? Maybe. It's hard to keep any of this. It's all gross. I mean, it's pretty gross. It's, I can't do it. If only they could smell what we smell. Yeah, it does not smell good, I gotta say. The smell is, oh, nasty old socks. Garage door opener. Uh, this looks like the tag, and I hate to throw these away. Oh. No. Yeah, no. Sorry. Who knows what's on that? Too much nasty stuff in here, man. So this was a golfer bowler. Yeah. <laughs> or he wore bowling shoes to golf. Maybe. I'm not gonna judge. They do look comfortable. Ah, watch. This is probably what Doug was looking for the whole time. This is the New York tag. I can't, I'm gonna put this in the sink and keep the tags, because they're, yeah. that's kind of cool, actually. So I'll put it over here in this oil. There you go. <laughs> it's a great place. Don't tell me this is a good knife. It's not. I thought it was a Kershaw for a minute. Thank goodness. Yep. Thank goodness. Makes it much easier. To much easier to get rid of it. All the golf balls are going away. Uh, pencils, keys. These can't be important. Based on what they were buried under, I would say there's nothing important under there. I agree. Okay, the only thing we're keeping. Oh yeah. This is like a hose bushing, so yeah. We'll put that over here in the keep, and. Sam, huh. he, nothing in there. Receipt, anything good? Paint, pant, RSL pant. Okay, everything's out of the way. I'm gonna do a quick little vacuum again. And that's the, the cleanup of this car, I think. I think we got everything that mattered out. All back. So we have our nasty compartment all cleaned out except for the actual car parts. Look at that. There was standing water all the way up to here, all the way to the seal. I think the water stayed here until it like overflowed out the edge of the taillights. Found the battery. Hey. Nothing's been hacked into it. What's what's the date code on it? The date code is not visible, but I don't think this thing's charging very well. You see the lights turning on and off yeah. every couple seconds? Yeah. I think she's struggling. It might be a bad battery. Like, that's a huge win by itself. Yeah, trunk opening makes a big difference. On this channel, that's a huge win. All right, I'm gonna try to open the top. I'm gonna grab the jump pack to do that because it'll need a real battery after I wash my hands. Should have worn gloves that time. Should have worn gloves. Yes. Okay, we're gonna start with the windows. Oh. They auto down, no problem at all. And now we're gonna start with the top. Hear the motor. Oh. Where's it going? Straight down. The trunk didn't have to open? No. Oh. It, all of it worked, didn't it? It did. Every bit of it worked. Huh. I thought it okay. would open the trunk and it would go underneath and. No. Let's also do. Come on, girl. Ooh. It didn't work. I think it just needs a little bit of help, actually. This. Okay, so let's shut it off. Push power. Should retract. I hear the motor running. Uh, I think they just needed some time. Yep. Also, there should not be refresh air fresheners in there. No. Never. It's trying to open. Not working very well. Well, Scott and I made some good progress on the car and we figured out a few things, but there's only so far we can go without a real battery because the jump pack and the charger, well, I think the battery has a short circuit. I left the charger on it all night long last night and it got nowhere. In fact, the charger aired out. So I tried again and the charger aired out. So that usually means there's a dead short in the battery or something like that, or the car's pulling too much current for it to charge the battery. I say we just rip the battery out and put a new one in it. So let's do that right now. Head over to O'Reilly's, grab a battery, put it together, and then we can find out if this car will start. And we're gonna put the coils back too. We're gonna find out for real. If it starts, there's been a ton of comments 
from the last video saying that these things just have head gasket failures and timing chain issues all the time. And if you just change the gaskets and put in the updated timing chains, you're good to go. But if we don't get that today, uh, I guess we just put an engine in it. That's probably the move. Do you think the spoiler works? Will the spoiler work with the trunk out? That's the real question. Let's put a battery in it and then we'll find out. Wow, you don't get a lot of trunk space in here. There is not a lot of trunk space, but there is a battery hiding in here. So let's move all this junk. Oh wait, if we put the top down. Oh no, it, you can have the top down and you still have the trunk. That's crazy. If we put the top down. Uh, every other car, you know, you put the top down, it takes away your trunk. This yeah, is... like that one? Yeah, like that one, exactly. <laughs> exactly like that one. Hey, look at that, one That's battery. Not too bad. It has a big old battery. Oh, that's the exact same as my E46. It's a 49 series in these monsters. Huge. Uh, I checked with our rallies and only had one of these bad boys. Unhook this little vent tube, and then I think we need to, uh, it's not a 10. Yeah, it's big. A, yeah, big old terminals on this thing. Uh, the negative's a 10, and the positive's like a 12. So we gotta... Oh no! <laughs> Look what we found! <laughs> this is exactly what you don't hope to find in your Jag. Not to mention, is there a second battery right Why does this look like another? It is another battery. Why does it have two batteries? I'm pretty sure this is the same cheap uh, brand that I put on the Maxima. <laughs> is this even? Oh, I don't think any of it's hooked oh, up. Oh no, it, the wires do run underneath the car. So she's got underglow. This is how I always get all my car batteries from O'Reilly's now. Look, it works really well, what can I say? A lot of, I can just go straight there on the scooter and then swap them out and then go grab a new battery. Today we're gonna be peasants and take a car. Hi, What's up? Hi. We have acquired the lead acid battery. Anyway, let's go throw this thing in the car and see what happens. You'll never believe what I just found. Where's it at? Oh yeah. All right, let's go. You never know when you're going to need one of these. <laughs> it was destiny. <laughs> oh, it's trash. No. Oh. Well, I'll put it in the iron bin. <laughs> the cluster says low battery, please start engine, which I highly doubt. Obviously, it's a brand new battery. They do come charged. So let's push the button for the first time. Put key in vehicle. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Who would have thought that could be an issue? All right, here we go. Reposition smart key. How, where do you want the key, car? I don't get it. Maybe we'll take it out of the uh, neutral there. And a cup holders flip here. We found this interesting thing. That can go in the trash, I guess. There's some paper clips in here. Um, there's got to be a place to put the key. Usually, it's like hold it here. I am now covered in oil. I, everything is covered in oil. What happened? <laughs> That's, uh, this is unhooked, whatever that is. Well, yeah, but I think the spark plug, there must be a spark plug out. Okay, so you can see the coils right here. We haven't done any even looking at this before. Uh, you're not that covered. I'm only a little covered too. We're okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, man. <laughs> oh yeah, and we only got a little bit inside, it'll clean up. I mean, it was this side. Yeah, it came out of right here is where the coils are. Yep, you can see spark plugs aren't in the holes, are they? I just need to grab a light. And uh, I think we should actually turn it over a few more times. Oh yeah, this stuff went everywhere, dude. What was it and why was it in the cylinders? Oh, it's water. But hey, it turns over. So that's, turning over is a huge win. You wanna pull the codes? I guess we could pull the codes. Right now, I bet their coils are messing. I bet that's what the codes are. It's time to pull the codes out of this thing and see how bad it truly is. And today, we're gonna do that with Carly. You guys have seen my big expensive scanners, and typically those cost more than the cars I buy. At home, you probably don't need that much scanner. You probably don't need you know, like a graph of every misfire count across all eight cylinders or something like that. This is what you need at home. So this is Carly, and it's an OBD2 scanner that you just plug in and open the Carly app on your phone. Now, the app is free, and there's a paid upgrade version that unlocks other features as well, but you just download the free app after you buy your Carly, and you can get started immediately. So it's got lots of cool features, like used car health check. It can tell you if the odometer's been tampered with. Uh, you can see some possibly driving history, 
from the previous owners. You can do a lot of custom coding on BMW, Audi, Volkswagen, cars like that, a lot of the European cars but we're gonna use it today on the Jag for a moment. Download the app, plug it into the OBD port, start the app, there you go. You do have to throw the car in there and sometimes download the file for the car. Uh, we have already done it on this car because Jake and I were enjoying ourselves uh, laughing at all the codes. Gotta find the OBD2 port under here. Obviously, if your car was built after 96, it was mandated to have an OBD2 port. And after like 01, a Carly works really well. So we'll just turn this thing on. We'll open the app. You can see I've got my Volt, the S4, the F250. Here's the F type. And we'll go to health and continue and check for issues. It'll take just a moment to connect to the dongle. It's Bluetooth low energy, so it's not using a ton of power even when it's actively connected. And let's go to health and check for issues. Obviously we have checked it before, but it just takes a few seconds here. It shows you that it's checking all the systems in the car. And there's the percentage right there, 100%, literally seconds. I mean, we got to see the entire process and now diagnostics completed. Let's see. So this car is very bad. It has more problems than it had a minute ago. It added four problems. All right, let's see what we've got here. In the issues section, it shows you the code and it shows you possible causes or problems and the description of the code. So that is actually awesome. It's so nice to just have a description of the code there so you don't have to grab the code, go to Google. I mean, you guys have done it before the old school way. So this helps out a lot. 0300, 0302, basically misfires on every cylinder, I think all the way through. Um, lots of remnants of the coils being unplugged. We have a lot of issues there. Uh, igniter circuit on four, circuit low on cylinder two injector, even the injectors were unplugged. So honestly, I could clear these at this point. Yeah, just misfires everywhere. Uh, so to clear them, I'll show you guys, we, we can do that live. We'll hit clear engine and it does say check again in two to three days. Remind me in three days, that is awesome or you can repeat the check immediately. So let's start this thing and see what happens. It sure is upset, but it sure starts right up. No more check engine light. Carly did exactly what it needed to do. It can also show the emissions checks there if you wanna do readiness monitors, all the stuff that they do if you're in an emission state. You can look at all the live data from the car continue to parameters. Obviously the car is not on, so it's upset right now, but it can pull all the live data that you wanna see, which is obviously incredibly helpful when you're troubleshooting. So that is Carly in the Jag F-Type. If I plug it into the S4, it unlocks the coding functionality, which is awesome. It lets me customize the car, change options that usually the dealership would have access to. So Carly can solve a lot of your problems, diagnosing your car, troubleshooting problems, uh, custom coding in European cars, and it's probably everything you need as a car owner or a DIYer. So hit the link in the description below to buy your Carly today, carry this thing around with you, and it'll make it easy to solve your car's problems wherever you're at. It's tiny, like this is exactly, exactly the size you need to keep in your backpack, pocket, purse, whatever you're doing you can carry your Carly with you. Uh, I'm gonna try to clean up this rusty water real quick, a little bit of it. Yeah, what P code is engine full of water? Pretty sure it's P0710. Everybody clear the spray zone. I should put the top up in case I get showered. Uh, it turns over now, obviously we know. It wouldn't turn over before. It was just like coughing when we were on the other jump pack. So we're gonna go ahead and let it crank a little bit more and then go find three spark plugs apparently and see if she starts. If it starts, We've made a lot of progress and that means that it's probably a head gasket job and if it doesn't it's probably an engine so let's hit the button one more time low battery start engine okay it didn't make any like knocking noises or anything it didn't make any knocking noises although we don't have any compression on those three i would say so i think we just need to hunt down some spark plugs and shove the coils in there. How are the spark plugs not sitting in here? That's what I really wanna know. We found the spark plugs, which was awesome. They were hiding in a rag in the engine cover. I went to get the coils and I was like, look at that, we got lucky. So we were gonna go buy spark plugs that we instead had the NGKs that are supposed to go in the engine. Everything's back in, the fuel injectors were unhooked. Everything's hooked back up. We've got a place to start troubleshooting now. Let's hit the start button again and see if she runs. And I, I think it might. The cool thing about having spark plugs is uh, there's no explosion of oil and coolant on you. It did all 
that itself. I, I wasn't like holding the crank. It decided it wanted to. It tries for a long time. It That should have been long enough for it to get fuel, I would say. So here we go. That might have been my bad. I held the throttle for flood clear, but it said it was throttle. Why does it sound the noise like? Wow, it runs good. It's smoking a little bit. That does not feel like it's down a cylinder. It does not. It runs smooth in my BMW and I'm upset about it. There's no vibration in the chassis. Let's go get dinner. We should go drive it. It's out of coolant, but we can put some coolant in it. I'd love to drive it. It's doing that thing the Audi did. That is significant. Yeah. I think we should drive it outside if we're going to let it That, that reeks of coolant. Yeah. It idled down. Here's, I just want to do this. Hey! hey. <laughs> Top? Oh, it's so magical! That works really well. James Bond smokescreen mode? It's head gaskets, it's gotta be. Yeah, well, I mean, it reeks of cooling. Woo! Gosh. <laughs> oh, that's stain. It might be horrible, but it's also awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's fixable. Awesome! I love how it looks coming out of this dumb exhaust tip. <laughs> There's so much smoke, it sounds muffled. Oh, good, we got codes. Yeah, and uh, that should be dynamic engine. Why does the infotainment look exactly like your bolt? Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. <laughs> okay, we got to shut it down. There's no coolant, so. <clears throat> that supercharger coupler sounds unhappy, too. Yeah, probably, but I sure thought we were, where'd all the coolant go? That's what I... I mean, when the Audi did this, it like blanketed the shop and we couldn't be in here. That all just vanished. It did a nice complete combustion on the cooler. It smells sweet in here. The humidity <clears throat> is now higher. Ah, uh, here's an ant. That's cool. If it would have done that in Ohio, I could have just drove it on the trailer. That's what I expected the whole time too. But hey, that is awesome. It would be good to see if the transmission works at all. And I think it should start right up this time. First drive. First drive. That's all the gears you need. Park. Oh, the AC works. I think we can consider the F-Type fixed because now when I hit unlock, aha! Oh, the power folding mirrors even ran. And then when you lock it, and both sides work. I thought they were both completely broken. Turns out we just needed to close the hood and then it was happy with us. So uh, there you go, Jag, leave those out. There you go, we got the Jag running. I'm pretty happy about that. I really do hope it's head gaskets. I sent that to Doug just a minute ago and he was like, hold on, what? They've already put head gaskets in this. Or did they? I don't know if they put head gaskets in this thing yet. I'm not sold on that. It's got that head gasket delete. <laughs> it's head gasket delete kit. Whatever it is, it is drinking coolant. And I don't know where else it could be coming from. Like, it doesn't make sense that it came from anything else. So it seems like a head gasket job to me. I wonder if it has one of those, like, intake tubes, like the 3800s and 3400s. That's, and it's, like, where coolant's it just coming. it ingests it. Yeah, it, it's Because it's so much coolant. And it's just coolant. It, it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't, I, it doesn't sound like it's just one cylinder. Yes. It doesn't sound like it's leaking, like, 
Yes. Combustion into the coolant. I agree with all of these things. It does seem like it could have like uh, an O-ring that failed or something yeah, like that. Yeah, maybe we get lucky. We just got to take the supercharger off. That could be the greatest thing of all time. Jaguar technicians, I know you're out there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is there something they could have missed if they were doing head gaskets and messed this thing up? And could it be fixed for 50 cents that it would be the best deal of all time? <laughs> uh, I don't know. All I know is this thing tried to throw up all over us and it's time to go take showers. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shopwatchjerogo.com for cool shirts, not like this. Huge thank you to Carly for sponsoring today's episode again. Don't forget to hit that link in the description below to check Carly out or pick yours up today. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time. It's hard to talk while we're breathing that much like burnt coolant. You know, <laughs> it like takes your voice away a little bit. It sticks to your tongue. It does, and then good. I can't talk. Ah, sorry if I couldn't talk in this episode. We ate too much coolant today. <laughs> just been in here chewing on it. It just tastes, it smells so good. It does smell good. I got to give it that. But it's definitely time to get out of here and let the coolant also get out of here. Just because it looks like Baja Blast does not mean that it tastes like Baja Blast. <laughs> this runs the pink coolant. Oh, yeah. so it's pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. Mm. Yep.